In the ostrich business, you must have three, three things. Tenacity, willpower, and stubbornness. Farming is a passion. It's just, how can I say, it's bo you're born a farmer. Kijk, die job is baie belangrijk voor mij. Om mijn gezin aan die leven te houden, is baie belangrijk. The ostrich industry is very unique and it's very challenging because you are in a very niche market and you have very discerning customers and clients. As a business, we represent about 62% of the South African market in ostrich processing. We process the, the raw material into a product that very often gets used into other products or even final products. Oatsman started with the, with the boom, the feather boom in, in the early 90s. We used to have ostrich feather sales and the buyers used to come, some from overseas and we had local buyers. Originally, the skins were worth nothing. The meat was worth nothing. It was only the feathers. A pound of feathers you could buy a farm with. You know, the ostrich business is like your hand. It starts over here and it goes there and then it comes to the top there and then it goes down here. In my time, I've been here at the top three times. But people became millionaires and people went bankrupt overnight. Overnight they lost everything. The history of it is single channel marketing, which dominated South African agriculture, say 25 years ago. Sort of in the mid 90s, the agricultural boards was disbanded. But during that time, Clan Kuroa was a cooperative, which essentially means that your aim is to maximize the income for your members, which are farmers. The company's legal identity changed to a PTY Limited. Well, the COPE has changed the last couple of years. Now it's become a company, and they try and do the best for the farmer. Well, the COPE does, takes our product, um, sells the meat, tans the skins, sells the feathers. It does the whole thing for us, and they try and do the best for the farmer. We are using our resources. Um, and that's the ostrich to the optimum, so uh, there's nothing that goes to waste. The feathers um, are still very important. It's used in the fashion industry quite a lot, and then also um, in the dust industry. Um, the leather is also very special, it's very unique. Um, where the feathers are, these, they are quills, um, and it's utilized also in the fashion industry a lot. On the meat side, our meat is also exported um, and also locally used. There's nothing that we are wasting in, in a bird, and that's important of one of the sustainability aspects or measurements that we use. When someone is operating economically in a, in a desert environment, they are, they're extracting a resource, but it's not replaced, uh, it's, it's used. And in our case, you know, we've got an industry that's been going for 160, 170 years. Um, so that, in my opinion, is as sustainable as it gets. Everything is um, connected. Um, what's happening on the farm is connected with what's happening at the processing plant, what's happening on the consumer's demand side. So it's a one health concept. Every ostrich has got an identity. It's got a tag on it and it's got a number. So anywhere in the world, if they get meat, they know exactly from what, which farm it comes and, and the, which ostrich it came. If you look at our company specifically as a processor, we employ, say, roughly between 1,000 and 1,200 people. The co-op uh, does a lot of uh, charitable work. They do sponsor the schools, local schools, offers a lot of jobs to the local community. They sponsor the housing project for their staff and they try and give back to the community. Um, if you look at town, you know, we're the major job creator. We have a farm workers um, prize for the, the best farm workers. We do a lot of training, various courses. It's really because it's important to us. You know, if you um, improve the surrounding people and how they think, they understand your business better and they understand how important it is that they buy in into your business. We do training to the youth, try and get them into farming and not per se ostrich farming, but just the love for farming. Yeah, so we have a very strong footprint in our community and uh, there's a lot of people that look up to us. Outcome of the industry, that's all the industry. 
als we plaats voor deel van die ostrich. Wat gebeurt als je een ostrich product koopt? Je steunt een economie in een rural area. Je maakt een verschil in de levens van about 70 of 80 duizend mensen. Which, if there was no ostrich industry, would have nothing. I think you're supporting a very sustainable agricultural model, and I think by consuming the products, you have a very positive influence, both on the environment and on society as a well. whole. The ostrich trade um, creates jobs on the farms, at the co-op, at the tannery, and if it goes well with the, with the ostrich, it goes well with the town, and also vice versa because the town can't survive without the ostrich. You know, ostriches are very important to, to our area and to our economy. It's important to people that live here. It's a rural environment. There's, there's no big factories around. There's no big mining enterprises. Um, there's um, just agriculture. Um, and a lot of people depend on ostrich. The shops in town is dependent on the buying power of the worker that works on the ostrich farm. Um, it's really been tough, so the ostrich industry is very, very important. Um, and it's also special, and all the people that live with it here, they know that. They know it's special, and they know they have to conserve it. 